Hello, thank you for joining me today at John Galt Solutions. My name is Holt Wilson, Professor of Marketing at Central Michigan University and one of the co-authors of the book Business Forecasting with Forecast X. In this segment, I will be discussing how you can do a linear trend forecast using Forecast X. As you see on your screen, I have some data in column A that runs from the year 2000 through 2010, and another column in, in column B, the actual data for annual women's clothing sales, which is in millions of dollars. The general form for the linear trend model is Y equals A plus BT, where A is the intercept or constant term, B is the slope, and T is just a time index. The time index is automatically created by forecast X. So to do the forecast, put your cursor somewhere in the variable that you want to forecast and invoke forecast X. When you get to this screen, indicate the number of periods that you want to forecast. For this annual data, let's say that we forecast four years out. And then check to be sure that the data set is correctly identified. Um, we want to go to periodicity and indicate that we have annual data and we want to go to labels and indicate that we have one row of labels in the data. Okay, and um, be sure to check whether it's thinking the data is in rows or columns. Here our data is in columns. Then select the forecast method tab and look for trend linear regression. Okay, trend linear regression. Click on that. Um, and then go to the statistics cell and you can select whatever statistics you may be interested in. Uh, for our purpose today, I'm just going to get the R squared, which we would want for a uh, bivariate regression, the mean absolute percentage error, and maybe we'll get the root mean squared error since many people look at that. To get that, we click on more statistics, accuracy, and root mean squared error, and say OK. Um, then Go to Reports and select the Audit Report. Um, we won't need the standard report in this case. Um, sometimes it's useful to get the fitted values, so I'll click on Fitted Values table, and then we can just click on Finish. So Forecast X is going to do all this arithmetic for us um, and give us the results that we've asked for, as well as a graph of the, the forecast. All right. Now, our original data for women's clothing sales is the blue line, and the fitted values through the historic period are shown by this solid green line, the four-year forecast by the red line that extends out to the right. In this table down below, we get the annual forecast for the four years that we had selected, so those are the actual values. And if we scroll down, um, we see that we get a table that has the dates, the original data, and the data that was fitted as well as the amount of error that we had in each period. And down here, we get the actual equation that is the trend line that was used for the forecast. So under this value, we have uh, 30,709 something as the intercept and a slope of 773.98. That's the equation for the straight line. And you may be testing to see if that line is significantly greater than zero and with a T value here of uh, 3.89 we know we're way out in the upper tail of the T distribution so it's highly significant. And then underneath that we have the mean absolute percentage error, in this case 4.33 percent. The R square 62.76 which means we've explained roughly 63% of the variation in sales. And here's the root mean squared error. It looks like a big number, maybe um, 1,885, but really you should compare that to the mean over here of 35,000. So relative to the mean, it's not very high. So you see that doing a linear trend forecast in Forecast X is uh, very straightforward. Thank you.